The Unknown Whistleblower. He's not an anonymous CIA officer who divulged what was said between President Trump and a foreign leader, nor is he mentioned, much less celebrated, by U.S. congressional leaders. He's someone far lesser known, such as a former Florida deputy sheriff on the run from U.S. authorities, who now claims he's in the possession of files linking pedophile sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein with Prince Andrew. Incriminating Jeffrey Epstein documents attached to a dead man's switch. Coming up on this inaugural edition of the Memory Hole Blog Report. For MHB, I'm James Tracy. Paul Mark Dugan joined the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office after serving in the U.S. Marines. Dugan became a sheriff's deputy in the early 2000s. A close personal friend was none other than veteran Palm Beach Metro Police Officer Joe Ricari. Ricari investigated organized crime and was heading up the Jeffrey Epstein inquiry in 2005. Between 2009 and 2015, Dugan claims Ricari shared files on the Epstein investigation with him, requesting Dugan keep them secure, apparently for an extended period of time. These included paper documents and several hundred DVDs on the case. Deputy Dugan was notorious for calling out the corruption in Sheriff Rick Bradshaw's office. He left the department in 2009 and established a hacker and whistleblowers website shortly thereafter. Curiously, alongside hackers based in Russia, Dugan broke into the computers of the South Florida law enforcement and judicial outlets and subsequently doxed hundreds of public officials. Beginning in 2013, Dugan states that he was placed under police surveillance. The same year, Officer Vicari left the Palm Beach Police Department after more than 20 years of service. Five years later, he died following what local news reports describe as a brief illness at the age of 50. In 2015, the FBI raided Dugan's home and, according to Dugan, seized the Epstein files shared with him by Ricari over the past six years. The following year, Dugan left the United States for good and successfully achieved political asylum in Russia, where he had established ties years earlier. What is of special significance and newsworthiness now, if we are to take Dugan at his word, is that unbeknownst to the FBI, Dugan made copies of the Epstein files, and those files are now in the possession of individuals on five continents. In an effort to protect his loved ones, Dugan has made their disclosure subject to a dead man's switch as he revealed in a September 24th press release and post on his blog. The Epstein data is encrypted in a TrueCrypt VeraCrypt container, Dugan writes, and has been given to a few people. They cannot look at the contents because they do not have the decryption keys. Others have the decryption keys, but they do not have access to the encrypted containers. My contacts are on five continents and do not know each other. The Epstein files stay secure and unreadable to everyone. I do not have a physical copy in my immediate possession because of security reasons. This is to make sure my family and friends remain safe. I have made arrangements that it can only be decrypted in the event of my arrest or if I go missing for an extended period of time or in case of my unusual or untimely demise. UK news media has given ample coverage to Dugan's announcement. Britain's foreign intelligence agency, MI6, have expressed concern over the possible contents of the files Dugan and now several others apparently possess. So what is the upshot of all this? Well, it simply drives home the fact that, as has been intentionally overlooked by most major news media, As U.S. Attorney Alexander Acosta observed, Jeffrey Epstein is an intelligence asset 
and is thus untouchable and is for all practical purposes beyond prosecution. It explains why no U.S. intelligence or law enforcement agency is investigating, much less prosecuting, the obvious accessories in Epstein's pedophile empire, one of whom is the daughter of probably the most infamous Mossad spy in the Israeli intelligence agency's history. Indeed, she continues to hide in plain sight, coming and going as she pleases. This is because today, the reality is that the lawful and morally motivated citizens who take a stand against corrupt individuals and institutions, the obscure and often unknown whistleblowers, become the target of deep state vengeance and lawlessness. Or perhaps we're all being taken for a ride yet again. We would be remiss not to mention the possibility that Dugan himself is compromised or is being used by forces that have not even revealed themselves to him. As infamous historical figures came to realize only after their roles were fully revealed and their fates already sealed. But that is beyond the scope of this installment. We intend to make these videos on a consistent, regular basis, so if you find this material of any value, please like this video, provide your helpful commentary below, and politely tap the subscribe button to this channel. And also, please consider becoming a sponsor on our Patreon. As always, we may be found at memoryholeblog.org. For MHB Report, this is James Tracy.